Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. I was watching my friend Anna, uh, which I'll link to her YouTube channel down below. She was talking about The Reading Rush, which is a book readathon challenge, and the goal is to read as many books as you can in seven days. And it begins July 22nd, so in a few days, and runs to the 28th. And along the way, you can earn badges that you put on your profile, and it's just kind of a fun way to get some reading done. And I'll put my link to my Reading Rush profile in the description and check it out and maybe sign up for the event and we can be reading buddies. So I'm going to talk about the books I'm going to read on my reading list and all the different challenges and badges that I hope to earn. There's seven main challenges that you can do during the readathon and there's also extra challenges that kind of complement the other ones. Now you don't I'm I'm an overachiever, so I am reading seven books for the challenge. That's a book a day, at least. I know it's like I kind of did a lot more than I can chew, but I mean, if I don't complete it, I don't complete it. But I'm going to try really hard, so we'll see. I'll definitely update my uh, YouTube channel if I do it or I don't do it. The first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover. And the book that I choose, these are all in my Kindle, on my Kindle, or in the house already, save for one of the books. But we'll get there. Um, so the book I choose for reading a book with purple on the cover is A Time to Dance by Padma Venkatraman. It's the story of a young woman who is a dancer, like a dance prodigy in India. She becomes an amputee after an accident and she has to find a way to weave her new identity into her dance and she also falls in love. So it's a bit of a romance. Um, it's also written in verse, like a poem, so it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't take me that long. I only had a day or so to read it, but I thought it would be a quick read, and I've had it in my uh, Kindle library for a while now. The next book on my list is The First Rule of Punk by Celia C. Perez, who I actually know who she is, because we both grew up, um, not grew up, but we both made zines back in the 90s. Um, I think she still does make zines. I haven't made one in uh, a while, but basically zines are self-published magazines or manifestos, personal zines, poetry zines. Um, it's an awesome thing, and I did that for a long time. So I was really, I am really excited to read it. 
This book is about friendship, finding your place, and learning to rock out like no one's watching. Um, that's from the Amazon description. This book meets the read a book in the same spot the whole time challenge. At first I thought that meant to read an entire book in one sitting, but no, they mean read it, um, read a book in the same spot, not necessarily in the same time and at, at one go. This also meets the five star challenge. Read a book that's five stars. I didn't say where the stars from come from, but on Amazon, this book has five stars. So I'm going to use that. The next challenge is to read a book with a non human main character. And at first, I thought this is going to be hard because I don't think I have any of those books. But then I remembered I love Star Trek. And what's on Star Trek? Aliens. So I'm reading A Stitch in Time, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, number 27, by Andrew J. Robinson, who played Garrick on DS9. So this book is about Garrick, kind of a portrait of the artist. Um, because Garrick is a tailor on the space station. Garrick is a Cardassian, not Kardashian, but he is basically a alien, well, alien to the viewer at home. Um, and he's a tailor, and he's probably my top, one of my top, one of my top characters on that show. And I haven't read this, I haven't read any of his books, but this one I'm excited about, because the actor who played him wrote it. So it should be interesting. The next challenge is to read a book that you meant to read last year. That to me is very open because I have a lot of books that I wanted to read last year. And between work and all the stuff I've done with um, video games and all that, I haven't been reading as much as I want to, so this is an easy pick. Um, I'm reading The Girl with All the Gifts by M. R. Carey. No relation to Mariah Carey. Um, it's a thriller about a little girl who has special abilities. And that's really all I know about it. So we'll see how it is. The next one is read, a, read and watch a book to movie, book and movie. And I chose The Book Thief by Marcus Zusek. And I've actually listened to a very abridged audio book, which was done by Christopher Edelston, who I love. He's on Doctor Who, or he was on Doctor Who. Um, he's my favorite doctor. So I picked up the full book a few years ago, or whenever it came out, and uh, I'm excited to read it. It's basically about a girl who loves reading and she steals books from somebody that she knows and is kind of um, shares her 
love of reading to get through days living under um, Nazi occupation in World War II. It's a very good book. It's very sad. Um, but like I said, I've only ever listened to a very abridged version. And the movie, I actually had the movie and I've watched it a while ago and I like it, it's good. So I'm excited to revisit it. The next challenge that I'm doing is to read a book that has more than five words in the title. And this is The Long Way to the... What is it? A long, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. And this book is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. And it's written by Betty Chambers. And this was recommended by my friend Anna. And I'll put a link to that down below. I started to read it um, last weekend. And I read about a page, and then I was getting hit with water balloons. So I just kind of said, I'll read this later. And, and then I heard about the reading rush. So I decided to save this book for that challenge. The book is about a crew of uh, people on a, I think it's a, space ship and it's about family and finding um friends as family and it should be interesting it is science fiction so i'm sure i'll like it and anna has good taste in books and the last book and the last challenge is to read an author's first book and today, I had something totally different picked out for this challenge. But today, I got my order um, from Once Upon a Book Club, which is a monthly subscription box. Each box comes with a book hardcover and different trinkets that you open as you reach the page that it lists. So it's really an interesting concept and I'm really, really excited. And my first box came in the mail today. So I switched up um, this challenge so I could read this book because I can't wait to get started. And it just so happened to have fit this challenge. And the name of the book is The Long Flight Home by Alan Halad, and it is a historical fiction taking place in World War II, and it has to do with homing pigeons and friendship, and I didn't want to spoil myself too much, so that's all I know, but I'm really excited to read this. The last two books that I showed you are obviously physical copies, which are usually not that accessible for me, but I still like reading physical books. So I'm gonna do my best with those. And they're not accessible as accessible because it's just my hands and I have to turn the pages. Whereas on an ebook, which is all the other books, um, it's just a click. And I do that all the time. And that's how I usually read. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna join in on this um, challenge or readathon. And it's free and you can sign up. I'll put all the links down below. And let me know what's gonna be on your reading list. Now, I'm reading seven books because I am, I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, 
I like the challenge, and I think I can do it if I really push myself. I think of it as like a marathon for nerds, basically. But you don't have to read seven. You can have one book that can go towards a bunch of the challenges. If you're not going to take part um, in the readathon, I still want to know what the last book you read or listened to. And um, yeah, let me know. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!